Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. And for this video, I wanted to try swapping my screen time for reading time. I think this is a really fun challenge. I'm saying that now but we'll see how I feel at the end of it. But in an effort to strive for more balance in my life and to sort of fan the flames of this recent reconnection that I have with a beloved pastime, all signs point to you, we should at least give it a shot. Want to be pleasantly surprised by a low number, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if uh, these numbers are higher than I would, wa I would want them to be. <laughs> Last week, <laughs> Okay, here we are. Last week's average is two hours and 29 minutes, 10%, down 10% from the previous week. We've got a lot of time on social, me social media and most used is Safari, which makes sense because I had to do a lot of research for some things that are coming up in me and my husband's life. Uh, also looking up like definitions for words in books that I'm reading, especially with Anna Karenina. Let's see, we've also got YouTube. YouTube, I've spent two hours and 53 minutes on. Yeah, I've been spending more time on YouTube watching like all the bookish videos. And then on messages, two hours and 10 minutes, is that for real? I spend that much time? I mean, I guess it makes sense because I'm the type of person that will type something and reread it like 30 times before I hit send. And then surprisingly, TikTok is at one hour and 37 minutes. Surprising. I thought TikTok would be like at the very top. I feel like last week's sample is a little skewed just because again, I was doing a lot of research for some things that are coming up for me and my husband. So an hour and 37 minutes, not bad. An hour and 24 minutes on Pinterest. What, what am I doing on Pinterest? And then the Libby app, an hour and 20 minutes. And then Amazon shopping. I don't even have the Amazon app, but it says I've spent an hour and 19 minutes shopping on Amazon. I'm just gonna go with the average. Last week's average was two hours and 29 minutes. I'm not gonna count time spent on the Libby app towards this challenge because I use the Libby app to read and that is the objective for swapping my screen time by a very rough calculation that would leave me with a two hour and 18 minute daily average from last week. That's just time spent on my phone. I definitely spend a lot of time in front of my screen editing, but that I feel like is just gonna make things a lot more complicated. So we're gonna go with the two hour, 18 minute goal. So we're gonna start our reading time today with the last 50 or so pages of Birthday Girl. I am so close to finishing this book. This is my first annotated book. I'm quite proud of it. At first when I saw people annotating books on Book Talk, I was very confused. In my mind, I asked, what, what are they annotating? But I saw a couple of people explain their thought process and I thought I would give it a go in Birthday Girl. Here's my little annotation key. <laughs> for birthday girl. I've actually run out of my little tabbies that I have and this is the only set. Being a stationary nerd, I don't know how this happened, but <laughs> I need to go get more little tabbies, but yeah. But now that I'm inching towards the finish line of my first fully annotated book, I totally get it. It's just nice because when I'm reading, there are definitely thoughts and reactions that I would like to share with someone in that moment and I'm not always filming like this. So it's nice to be able to jot it down and also make predictions and you know, just, I am a fan. I am on the annotating train. I absolutely adore it. In my last video, which if you haven't seen, I'll have it linked in the cards and in the description box below, I talked about how I'm feeling just a tad lukewarm about Birthday Girl. I'm hoping that the last 50 pages will turn it around for me and I thought it would be fun to document my reaction to finishing Birthday Girl. So that's where we're gonna start and then we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and set my timer for two hours and 18 minutes. I don't anticipate that I'll sit here for the entire duration, but we shall see. If you're curious, I have just finished reading page 341. Ready, set, read. First of all, I miss you, and secondly, 
I never wanna see your face again. I get that it makes no sense. Oh, but I've been trying to forget that I remember you exist. I'm just exhausted, cause you said you needed me. And I took that way. Well, well, well. Hey friends, it's 2.53 on Thursday. I didn't really get a chance to vlog yesterday. Just needed to take some time for myself and for my family. I did manage to read about an hour or so yesterday. I think I was like at an hour and 11 minutes left. So I'm gonna add that to today's clock for a total of three hours and 29 minutes. Hopefully I'm not too tired to complete simple math and that is a correct calculation. As you guys saw, I did finish Birthday Girl and I will give my complete thoughts on it in in my next month's reading wrap up. I still wonder if my experience with Birthday Girl was dampened a bit because Priest was my very first spicy book and that if you have read it before, um, I think it ranks pretty high in terms of spicy level. And now I'm reading Midnight Mass, which is meant to be read after Priest and is still following Tyler's story. So I am about 62 pages in. It's a very short read. And I am also reading, I'm reading a bunch of books right now, which is not really my style, but I think because I I'm finding out about so many wonderful things in the bookish world. Um, that's just kind of how I ended up here. So while I was running errands yesterday, I did read a little bit of The Midnight Circus. I don't know why I keep calling it The Midnight Circus. It's called The Night Circus. I think I only read like two pages, but I'm enjoying it so far. I'm on page 44 out of 500 for The Night Circus. I didn't mention this in my reading wrap up slash September TBR, but I am listening to The Girl Before by JP Delaney and I'm 46% of the way through and I'm really enjoying it. And last but not least, I got a Kindle, which I'm very excited about. So I'm reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I have three months free of Kindle Unlimited. So please, please comment your recommendations down below. That way I can make the most of this three month free trial. I wanna make a whole video about this purchase because I went back and forth so many times and I just I just want to share my joy because so far it's been quite lovely. My system as of right now has been to read Midnight Mass when it's daytime and then once the day starts to lose like a bit of light and it's closer to the early evening then I switch to the Kindle which has a little bit more light and is easier on my eyes. So this is what we're going to be reading today. It's very bizarre for me to be invested in so many different stories, but I'm very excited about all these things. I sort of have different books going for different reading scenarios. I'm hoping that I can simplify this, but for now, I'm enjoying it and I'm excited. So let's get to reading. Through the pavement and concrete On a bridge you brought to me And I would hold you if it meant Showers and the snow, you know, you always seem to grow in the places that no one could ever reach. And I've been trying to figure out why we fill our heads with doubt when our hearts don't follow.
That was pretty solid.